welcome to my vlog and today you're still gonna see a Christmas tree behind me <laughs> but there's someone who thinks I want to share it with you and also do it with you so if you're new here if you like fashion style beauty um, tips and tricks I suppose weight loss programs and so on it's the right place for you hit subscribe button as well and also guys if you like this video just give a thumbs up so I know that you want to see more of content like this one so what's on agenda today i hope you have a lovely christmas also and a lovely new year it's a good start of the new year for you and as you can see i i was waiting for you to pack all my christmas decorations with you i just want to do it with you i want to share it with you because i did not have a christmas as such a video for you this year um i was taking a little bit of time off to build my mental strength and so on and as you can see I'm back so I'm feeling so much better as well and um, also there's a program that I want to share it with you I mentioned before but there's something specific that I want to share with you that I think helps me and it could help many many other people um, who may have different challenges in life and find it quite difficult to find a good advice out there how to fix few things <laughs> but um, decorations today I want also want to show you what I purchased recently so we have a little bit of unboxing to be to do together and also one more thing is this is my one of the best kept secrets <laughs> and you may think really that's what it is but it's something that might help you to grow your brows naturally and also help um, stop the hair loss help to regrow your hair as well and keep them stronger have a more volume and so on and so yeah there's a lot of things that i want to share with you today and we're going to do it together also let me show you progress on my hydrangeas if you watch my video if, if not i can leave the link down below um i bought a hydrangea and i was trying to propagate i make a few more hundred hydrangeas out of one and here's the progress so that's how they look now it's january so unfortunately i do not know um is this hydrangea actually died or just kind of as it should be for the winter lost um, leaves and a kind of green part of it and it's going to actually regrow new leaves and new kind of branches in the springtime so for the moment i'm just gently keep watering um this plant those plants and hoping for the best and this is how actually original plant looks now as well so as you can see it's dry out and it grows on the old wood i think they call it so a little story behind of those uh, beautiful plants was they were beautiful they were green they were growing strong they looked amazing and then i moved them to different room just to get a little bit of chill let them know that it's winter and after within a two weeks they just become quickly very brown lost leaves and I do not know that I overwater them or they just kind of sleeping because it's a winter time. So I should know within two months that I survive or not. If they did, that's fantastic. If not, I'm going to have to repeat the process in a springtime, which probably is more advisable to do so to kind of propagate plants and um, probably late. Um, I think it's just kind of late spring early summer i think <laughs> very early summer so yes anyway so it's time to pack a christmas decorations and we always keep them in boxes like this it's just i i personally understand if you buy like your favorite decorations and you love them of course you want them to last so i respectfully put them every single year in the same boxes it's so much easier as well to find them because in the future for the moment our team is more kind of like a champagne a little bit of silver and i want to move on more towards kind of um gold champagne gold uh, that kind of coloring in the future maybe just the next um, christmas if it's possible and uh, most of our decorations i always try to buy as well on sale because they're quite expensive itself and on a sale who does not love the christmas decorations on the sale guys it's a bargain <laughs> like everything else so let's pack some decorations then we open some fashion and then i'll tell you my secret how to help your hair stop the hair loss and natural with natural product as well that you can easy do it at home and probably just you just need one little product um to buy uh, an inexpensive product anyway 
just a lovely let's have a look at what we have in those boxes let me show you decorations first around the house as well what we kind of did as minimum as possible as much as we can <laughs> and then i'm just going to pack them away with you so let's start from a table and i'm trying to keep the same team all around the house as much as i can but you know sometimes you get a little bit of tired of the same look and i'm looking for a little bit more so this year i just put a little bit of green um around as well just to kind of make it a little bit even more christmasy and introduce a little bit of color so this is the usual stand that usually you can see it on our table over here that I have it for years as well. And it is a designer piece and also the candles are a designer piece. So I don't really want to burn them. <laughs> it's madness, but I just love it kind of clean and fresh candles look. If I could get um, plastic candles like a battery operator, I would, I would be delighted, I'd say. <laughs> But anyway, a lot of uh, these pieces, like this one, uh, white branches, I bought them in Poland online, actually. So they did send it over to us, and I'm sure we can do that the same thing. And um, they are just beautiful. They, I ordered them twice, and I feel the new version of it is not as nice as the first one. Uh, but still, I still, still <laughs> really love it. Um, this, um, I think the acorn, isn't it, if that's the right word? We picked them in the forest, and I just spray them with the white snow. And I know you can pay it fortune for them so it's a little bit of DIY here these decorations which I'm going to show them in my room as well I bought them for about I think 50 cents um, on a sale and I bought I, I, I could not lie to you I think I bought about 50 of them but they are two three different actually styles that I bought at the time they were on sale Christmas decorations I could not be happier with it the tablecloth and mats are from polish shop we got it when we were actually over Christmas a couple years back from I think it's called home and you um, beautiful store as well beautiful decorations. so that's over here on the table then a little bit in the kitchen just the same kind of team this bird is from my mom um, um, as, a, as a present and also just a little bit on this side so the kitchen is just very poorly let me just get a better light here for you guys very poorly decorated <laughs> it's very dark day today as well it's just keep raining and unfortunately i just cannot have a good light today so in the hallway there's just a very little in the hallway but i'm hoping uh, in the future just have a lovely decorations just down the line of the staircase would be just beautiful i don't plan to have a christmas tree in the hallway i think it's just a little bit too much so let me just explain the situation over here in the living room I love always have a little piece on the coffee table and this is just very repeat same team and I'm just going to lighten up with you now just let's make it a little bit more homey I just love candles now come on and the next one so as you can see it's just a repeat what it's on the coffee table but slightly different a centerpiece and I'm thinking because I'm gonna miss it so much do you miss guys Christmas decorations because I do I just missed this kind of richness of the house a little bit of like a branch decorations just brings a little bit more home homey feeling of the house softness as well to our kind of harsh slightly modern deco um, so yeah this is just all repeated and then christmas tree nothing's changed much since a couple of years back or even last year i think oh, have i showed you this last year and nothing's changed but let me show you what my problem is so as you can see when to, when you light up the candles they lovely and orangey yellow color and the christmas tree is cool white they call those lights and it bothers me <laughs> <laughs> bothers me very much so i'm hoping maybe um next year or year after we're going to change the lights into warm white hmm decision decision let me know what do you think do you like that color but it'll never work with my beautiful candles because it's always there'll be a contrast and i feel now they don't match and everything has to match <laughs> but uh, about christmas tree decorations i feel as well i kind of want to fill in those gaps with the big flowers or like a bow kind of design i could not find anything nice this year so i just left it as it is these beautiful branches are again from poland from eurofirane store links down below i don't think they're available but they have loads of other beautiful decorations every year every christmas also we bought these decorations from them and 
these ones are from next it's actually glass they all glass actually decorations um yeah what else and also this one yes that's the one for 50 cents as well that we bought a last year a billions of them there's another version of it um in my room so let's go to the room and i'm just going to show you um what else i did with the christmas decorations Just while we're going through the hallway, this is what I have also on each win window by the door and then on the door on the inside. Um, this is actually, believe it or not, guys, from Primark and then I just add a little bit more of gadget myself to it so it looks a little bit more designer-esque, <laughs> if that's even the word. So that's on the door and actually there are it's battery operated so around it there is actually lights and you can turn it on and it's battery operated so now in this room i'm going to share the fireplace with you some other day uh, how it looks when it's finished but these ones i mentioned it before they all the same christmas decoration i just stuck them in into this lovely uh, bowl a fruit bowl and two of them so as you can see i am bought tons of those decorations but i could not be happier they're just perfect champagne color that works so well in this room and i am delighted with it so yeah i have the christmas decorations on the wall all year around so while, I, while we're here in this room as well, I'm wearing today H&M dress. If you could remember, I think I bought it about two months ago and it is so comfortable. There's so much stretch in it as well. And it's really, really elegant. It always looks well, a lovely sage color. And of course, my new slippers from Tesco. <laughs> Why not? So now let's pack some Christmas decorations. What is in the boxes that we have here? So I'm actually using old Zara boxes and I just describe what I want every year, let's say, to put into those boxes. So for example, these are silver decorations from Poland and two um, other gray ones that I just didn't have a more room for. Then silver Poland, they actually came in in those boxes. Um, some pieces from Woody's that we have and and so on one white branches as well going in here it's so much easier every year to to pack it away and then next year I know what to do uh, how to take everything out where everything is it's just I love being organized so this is very DIY and I'm just planning to make it a little bit even better in the future but I just let me show you in in the boxes as well uh, what I kind of create <laughs> to keep all the bubbles um, nice and safe and ready to take out next year. So again, this might look for you a little bit of DIY, but just because, just keep everything safe. These are actually um, plastic holders from a dessert. And as you can see, um, we had a lot of desserts over the years. So <laughs> these are just plastic empty bowls and they perfect size for the bubbles. And I just stuffed a little bit of tissue so they won't scratch, they won't kind of move around as well a boxes. So let me just grab one of the decorations and I'll show you how to, what I'm doing with it. So let's say that's the one that should be in the box. And I just keep them like that and they just stay safe and beautiful till next year. So now I'm going to start to packing Christmas decorations. I won't keep you bored and keep you with me for all that process, but at least even some of it, um, I'm just going to bring everything and just, it's so hard to say goodbye to Christmas, Christmas trees. Let me know in comments below, did you take your Christmas tree down already as well? And are you missing it? I'm going to miss it a lot.
didn't realize. I'm like, why is it broken? I, I, I don't know. Oh, it's so sad, guys. It didn't survive on the Christmas tree, but it survived in the boxes. <clears throat> brand just in case if you're thinking where we got them from and that's how they look like that's how they actually come in in the boxes and they yes they are glass decoration so they're just beautiful and adorable there's a little bit of like a texture in them as well and a little bit of glitter over beautiful lovely lovely decorations and i have to say for a fraction of the money actually in poland they i feel they just not as expensive as over here um, so do visit their website if the Christmas stuff is gone now, which I'm not sure I'm gonna check it for you um, Don't worry. It will be back again by the end of the year They have a special Christmas section you can buy Christmas trees as well So I'm gonna continue to undress the tree in a minute But I think I'm just gonna sit down with you and let's just open some of the deliveries that I got for you And then I'm gonna share hair tips with you and yeah and then I will see you again in the next video. So let's have a look what arrived from one of my favorite brands. So some of you might not like this brand as much anymore. Karen Millen. <laughs> I have to say that I had a painful breakup with Karen Millen years back, a lot of years back. I loved it at the time, then suddenly I think brand was sold and I think Karen Millen herself left the company. Don't take my word for it. But, um, and then since then I kind of fell out of love. But I have to say last year, I kind of look in the website a little bit more and more and I'm just finding a beautiful pieces and I'm so happy with it. So first of all, um, what I bought is a jacket. I have a lot of coats, but I don't have a short jacket. So this jacket, um, you can have a version as a coat as well if you wish. So although I have a coat in that color and I didn't want to buy another one, but I do desperately need a jacket. So this is a lovely and kind of high neck and I love the belt on it as well. And the quality of the fabric, I could probably compare it's kind of between Zara and Reese. It's not Zara, it's not Reese quality, it's just somewhere in between. And all those pieces that I bought as well, they were on sale, and Carmelin has a sale constantly. This one is size eight, and I am spot on size eight. Watch my previous video about Reese sale, and you can see my measurements as well in that video, I'm showing measurements, um, so you know what kind of size I am at the moment. Um, so I'm absolutely delighted with this jacket when it arrived. It's such a good quality, but don't worry I'm gonna create a proper fashion video um, over next week or so as well for you so you can see those pieces properly Also a two a very similar yet jumpers. Do you find it hard to buy anything any type of knitwear? Let me just take that down any type of good knitwear I, I Don't don't get me wrong. I love the fluffy tops and I love the fluffy jumpers cardigans but it's very very hard for me to find the quality and I did not see anything like it in Reese uh, this year like oversized jumpers I didn't find anything H&M and um, also Zara um, a lot of websites I just was really disappointed with the selection of the knitwear this year so um, I finally found something on Karen Millen website. So this is actually viscose, mix of viscose, elastin. The camera is gonna be a little bit overexposed, so I apologize for that. But I'm gonna show you properly again these um, knit tops in the um, next video. The fabric reminds me of, do you remember the Reese tops that I have that kind of have a two straps going up here? Um, one in a khaki color, one is in white. So this is reminding me slightly of that fabric, slightly, not exactly, but it's a lovely, really, really stretch as well. And with a little bit of the detail oh, down here, just, just below the kind of bust section, a um, little bit of a detail. So I'm delighted with them. I feel they're gonna wash well. I had something like that similar years back and I just wore it and wore it and 
this is just gonna last i feel forever it's always gonna look nice and expensive on a beautiful knitwear so i'm gonna include that in my next fashion video for you and i will be able to show you a little bit more the fabric a little bit closer because it's for some reason here it's very very uh, overexposed light what else i bought so the next brand was um let me just put that down somewhere massimo duty and i have to say that i didn't buy much from that designer before and if you know i think massimo duty is a kind of upgraded zara and i think it's the same owners so quite often um i feel they kind of look very alike not the clothes itself um exactly but it's just the same kind of maybe style of items but just a little bit level up and i was really curious because i haven't bought um, anything from them before so i said i'm just gonna take a chance and so two of the things that i've got are just a simple um t-shirt style with the higher neck tops and i thought this is just going to be perfect and elegant it's supposed to be sitting slightly just below the sh shoulder and it's a higher neck so it feels like when it arrived it's a lovely and a very delicate material yet a good quality and i have it in two colors so this one is kind of like a dark chocolate brown and this one actually looks more blue on the website but it's more a gray blue color let me check the fabrics for you as well guys quickly just in case if you wonder what they made of okay so what it is it's actually um lyocell fabric as well if i'm saying it right i should learn probably that word properly and again it's just something to go away from a typical t-shirt with a short sleeve have something different and reese um, usually have something in the collection like that as well so just the two simple t-shirts again i might try them on for you in the future videos and the one more thing of course i could not resist it and let me show you it's a white dress of course a white dress but i've been looking at the dress for a very very long time it's a kind of um a little like a skater style maybe at the bottom of it but a long sleeve and lovely look like a jacket on top it's very very unusual and i have to say i was waiting for you guys so i did not even try it on and i'm not sure it's going to fit me but the quality of the fabric again i feel it's really nice and kind of expensive looking i think so yes it's not as expensive again looking as for example reese but just a little bit better looking than pieces from zara so i'm gonna try that dress for you not today we don't have that much time <laughs> this video is probably already very long but i'm gonna promise you i'm gonna try it some other day with you so one more thing i need to share it with you two more things about the hair but also and a little bit of how to deal with life itself i mentioned before in the video and christmas video new year's video i think christmas slash new year's happy christmas video um that i subscribed to a website uh, called mind the valley but one of the programs on it is called hypnotherapy and it's it's actually a designed, created and spoken about um, psychologist. She's absolutely incredible. Um, at the first start, I was like, really? But she speaks at the whole truth and explaining to you everything in detail. So for example, if someone leaves a bad comment um, under a video or your Instagram, or just spoke badly about you and you heard about it, she has a chapter um, in her, course let's say um, the online program she explained how to deal with the situation how to overturn your looking at the situation as well and um, just give you some exercise to deal with it better so it's about a five week program and touch a very very different um, subject so how to feel more confident about yourself as well about career about lifestyle health um also family friends it's just uh, so versatile and she just give a beautiful beautiful advice and explain it so finally you just go oh yeah oh why did i worry about this like it's just not anymore so now every time if i feel 
am a little bit down and I have a particular problem, for example, I'm just like a craving about food, she has a section about it, so I go and look at her video and listen to her and she just explained everything. I was like, oh yeah, I don't need bad food anymore. And also she has, um, I think, five hypnotherapy sessions that it's advisable to at least one of them listen every day um, before you go to bed or just whenever you have a chance. And I do find them actually very good and I feel without making too much effort, I feel like my confidence and self-belief keeps coming back. So I highly recommend. It's called, um, I think, Hypnotherapy. I'm gonna leave a link down below this video so you can have a look at it yourself. By subscription and of course, please understand if um, some people might complain, oh, it's a subscription, of course, they want to take your money. No one wants to give advice for free. And why would they? They work so hard for it. They, advice is so valuable I absolutely understand they want to get the good money for it so I feel for the money that uh, it's a, about 60 euro subscription I feel it's nothing for the amazing advice that it's out there on this particular app particular website and it's definitely not a witchcraft <laughs> please don't worry about it and again you have your own mind you can make your own judgment about the things so she also have i think short videos on youtube but her program is absolutely amazing i highly recommend it if you're looking for answers to your life and um, she's just yeah she's amazing she's so good so things i need to share about hair today with you is best kept secret how to stop hair falling and of course that way um to promote as well regrowth and in general just have a stronger and healthier hair and also I think it slightly help to grow your hair faster so the secret is very simple it's actually peppermint oil so this is actually essential oil that I mixed with a little bit of water so this is 125 ml bottle and I just put a little bit that much of a hot water into it and then I add about 10 to 20 drops um, what has happened when then you start to spray in it, basically in sections onto your scalp, then gently just massage it in, within about five to, not even five, I think about three minutes, you're gonna start to feel enormous tingling on your scalp. And more drops you add, which is, I would advise not more than 20 for that much of water in it. It's just gonna create this amazing tingling effect. Not everyone might like it, but, Quite often it's advisable to bring that kind of circulation into your scalp to massage your hair which I feel it's always a lot of hassle so I, I was looking for something like what well, pepper will help me chilies and I was like peppermint peppermint the best thing ever so I've been using um, a treatment like that on and off for about a year and I remember last year start of the last year when I was doing it regularly by regularly, I mean to use it nearly every day, every second day, as much as you can. I've noticed a huge difference about um, two to three months that I have very much of new regrowth. So this is the best kept secret, I think, ever, to be honest, to help your hair to grow, to be stronger, to speed up the process of the hair growth if you have to, but you need to use it in combination with the water regularly, ideally every single day. If you mix it with water, it doesn't leave much of a residue, it doesn't feel greasy, um, but it is advisable to mix it with any type of oil, which jojoba would be one of the best oil that I could recommend. So you have to see yourself and balance as well. Maybe start from five drops, um, then build it up to 10, 20, but you need to feel that tingling in your scalp and that's when you know where it's working. The tingling lasts for about five minutes and then you're done. Also, you can mix it up with your shampoo if you wish so. Um, but it, Technically, it's only use it on your scalp. You can also use it for your brows if you want to. It helps as well doing the same job. But again, it's gonna take weeks. Please don't expect anything within a week, so you need to stick with it. So another thing that I keep doing, and I'm doing slightly differently now, is to keep using Olaplex, but slightly different way. So what I'm gonna do today, basically, without you guys, <laughs> but what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna spray this onto my scalp, then I'm gonna make sure that my hair is soaked with the water, towel dry, and then I will apply um, Olaplex number two, I'm gonna leave it on 
for two or three days until the next time I decide to wash my hair. So if, before I was just applying for maybe for two, for three hours, please leave it on for as much as you feel comfortable. And I have to say, I'm treating that now as a leave-in conditioner. So I leave that for a couple of days and then I wash my hair and I feel every time I'm just washing my hair, I bring more softness, less dryness in my hair. It, it looks like it's less damage. It's just incredible, incredible product. Um, either Olaplex number three, number two is equally good. So whatever you feel like comfortable to bind, I highly recommend to have it Olaplex to repair any damage that have been done. And I do, my, there's, my hair is so fragile that hair dryers, even any type of heating tools damage my hair. So I think that's it for today, guys. Enough talking. This is very, very talkative a video. <laughs> But thank you so much for visiting and watching and I will see you soon.